and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 with one of my favorite families, you guys. You know, the Jacksons and my generation's LP guys. And yes, guys, this morning, everyone is just rushing about. It's about 6 a.m. in the morning and the family is actually getting ready for school. Yeah, so your girl here, she's actually going to be making some you know breakfast and sack lunches for her growing growing boys and her oh my gosh her <laughs> crazy crazy daughter princess and yeah so everything is good in the city you guys um the family is striving well and um i just couldn't wait to play them today i couldn't wait to play them it looks like somebody needs to learn their manners um why don't you go ahead, Princess, and we're gonna have Princess set the table. So she'll set the table for the morning, set the table for breakfast, and just do a casual setting, and uh, it could be blue. All right, so she'll do that, and then Mama, let us get you um, to the, yes, the breakfast, the breakfast, breakfast. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing this morning, oatmeal, cereal, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and mom will go ahead and she will make some sack lunches for the kids. So go ahead and do that. And then we'll let her get something to eat. And she's really, you know, conscious on what the kids are eating. So we'll have her make them some, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you have to take care of your kids. Um, I think she won't make the sack lunch until we give her something to eat. So we'll try and do that. If not, I will have, um... Let's have Princess do it. Looks like she finally set the table and it actually helped her manners. So that's good. All right, so let's have Princess make the make the sandwiches since mom is just kind of having a total meltdown this morning. So we'll have her do that. Um, sack lunches. And this will hopefully give her a little bit of responsibility here. Make sack lunch, veggie and hummus. Um, she's also a bit of a health nut herself, like her mama. So yeah, it runs in the family. <laughs> and once again, daddy is not home. He's been out, yes, making money for the fam bam. So yeah, and this happens quite often. Like I told you guys, they moved to the city and um, it's been pretty rough for the family. And um, <laughs> they've really been trying to adjust with the absence of dad not being around because he's trying to make money for the family. And like I told you guys, your girl Zola, she's been a little bit upset about that because she's really being left to raise the kids on her own. By the way, what is this guy into right now? Looks like uh, looks like Bling here is on the computer. Um, I bet you he didn't even finish his homework. And it looks like it's actually time for school. So why don't you go ahead and let's get this guy off to school. But before he does, let's go and write a note. Go ahead and write a note to mom, just letting her know that you love her and you love everything that she's doing for you guys. So that's kind of cool. He's such a, I think he's going to be more or less like you guys, like a mama's boy. He loves his mom so much. He's also, you guys, as I said, when he gets older, he is such a cool dude. Like he is going to be literally, literally a city native. He loves his city. It's almost like that song, Empire State of Mind. He's, he loves the city and he reps for his city for real. All right, so let's go in. We're going to actually have um, Zola go to work today. Um, and then we're going to have possibly, we're going to probably need to hire someone to come in and watch little, uh, little Jules this morning. All right, girls. So this was yours actually since you made it. So let's go ahead and put this into her inventory. It actually looks like she made two, huh? But she didn't. All right. So she's got her lunch for today. And so she is off to school. Um, it looks like uh, Bling is off to school. That's Paris Jackson PJ for short. Um, yeah. So he's off to school. And mom is just having her a little bit of time alone before she has to go to um, to work. And it looks like, oh, my God, who has shown up? 
It looks like dad has shown up, which is cool because mama is going to work in a little while. But I'm actually going to hire um, a nanny to come and help with the kids because your guy here, he's got a lot of work to do. Um, and he's really been trying to get these songs produced. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, what is he up to? So he's going to put away some of the toys. Um, he is also, if I guys if I have not mentioned to you, he's actually also a bit of a neat freak. So yeah, so he'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll start having him work on some songs. And since little guy is asleep, I guess we might not need to, well, I think I'm going to still hire someone because, all I need for him to be disturbed while he's trying to make music. So we'll go ahead and do that. He's also, you guys, let's see here. Who is this about? While well, taking a quick break, Princess spies some money uh, just sitting on a sink in the in the bathroom. Should the let's see, should she slide it in her locker for safekeeping or just turn it into the principal right away? You know what? She wouldn't turn it in. This is not her personality. So we're going to say she's going to save it. And let's see what happens. Oh, oh, okay. She's got 20. She's got 20 Samoans richer. I can't, you can't beat that one, right? So, all right. <laughs> I know it's a little wrong, but that's so her. That is definitely so her. All right. So who's calling? Who's calling? All right. Princess was caught using her phone to look up answers during a quiz. She got sent to the office. Retake the test with no phone. A failed quiz should do it. A failed quiz should do it. That's her personality, you guys. This is who she is. So she wouldn't even try to take it again. She's like, whatever. <laughs> All right, go ahead and clean this up, Dad. Uh, go ahead and clean that. And yeah, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think, what are we going to do today? I know I have a lot of things planned for the teens. I'm trying to actually get... Princess and Cameron and um, Duchess, all friends, um, so that they can have like a little bit of a club going on. And there's going to be a little bit of some rift between cousins, as I promise you guys. So I want to do that. Um, and yeah, so he's going to go ahead and dump that. Uh, Jules is sleeping, and I've got a lot of a lot of Jacksons to grow up. Especially we've got um, the twins, Titan and Roman. We've got Jules. We've got, oh my God, we've got so many little toddlers. And we just welcomed you guys. If you have not watched it, you guys got to go ahead and check it out. We also introduced Sir Michael, which is actually, yes, um, MJ has made Prince and Blue Ivy parents. So you guys got to check this LP out. It's just kind of all craziness. And um, in my Michael Jackson Legacy Challenge, we will be growing up um, your girl uh, Queen in her um, in the next episode. So she'll be having um, a very, very cute little toddler party. So I want you guys to also check that out. So yeah, so he's going to clean up here and then we're going to actually get him over to the um, piano over here. The electric, electronic blah, 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 piano. That was a mouthful. Um, and yeah, um, do, 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 do. he can write a jingle because he actually does need to make some extra money. So let's have him write a jingle. I don't know if this is actually a part of his, um, a part of his uh, responsibility. Um, play instrument. All right. So he's about 50% done with playing an instrument. I'm not very sure if the jingle, if he just does this jingle, if that will help, but hopefully so. So he'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, he's definitely wanting to follow in his dad's footsteps. And if I, if I have not mentioned to you guys before, he's definitely that kind of Sam that, you know, he was the one that really, really wants this, but it just doesn't seem to be working in his favor. Although he's making money, he's not popular like his brother is. Um, Prince is like almost like a megastar, almost up there with his dad. So He's trying to get there. Um, it's kind of like a Beyonce and Solange. Solange has actually found her place in um, in the music world. And um, she's kind of neo soul where, you know, um, Beyonce is contemporary. So it's kind of like they got that kind of relationship going on um, where you got a mega star and a climbing up the ladder type of star. So, yeah. All right. So he'll finish here. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and have him do that. And um, possibly he can spend a little bit of time with Jules. Um, and yeah, we'll do that. Let me speed this up a little bit. 
Because I believe the jingle, if they're able to complete a jingle, several companies love the jingle and bid to be the proud owners of it. Jackpot. All right. I don't remember how much money he just got, um, but he did get some money. So that's cool. And why do you keep putting that same toy away? Leave it the frick okay, alone. Okay, so it looks like the kids have returned home from school. Um, and there's just a quick little... A quick little thing that we got here that asks us, school is stupid, I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Um, what would Zola tell her? Society requires school for success. So I would probably say she would say that. Alright, so hopefully it didn't affect anything. So it also looks like Princess also brought home um, a project. And yay, it looks like your girl Zola has been promoted to clickbait writer. Um, she has also received the following bonus of 183 simoleons, uh, respond to mail, and she's also, sh she can also share images, and so now she will start work from 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. I'm so happy for her. What I want to do right now is I want your girl, she's like super tense, I understand girl, I understand. She's going to go to her room for a second, and, um, let's have her, um, she has such a cute room, by the way. I just love her room. So she's feeling a bit tense right now. Um, she wants a little bit of fun. So I figure she might want to maybe play a video game or something. So let's give her, let's have her go on here and she'll play, um, play an online game and she'll play Frenzy Online. So she'll go ahead and do that. And then after we do that with her, um, who could she play with? Hmm. I don't know, play with Duchess. That would be the best person to play with. So she'll play with Duchess online. And she'll do that for a little while. And then we'll probably try to invite Duchess over. So they can kind of come and they can kind of hang out. Um, and yeah, so she's, yeah, don't pick him up. Let mama take care of him. Or the nanny, rather. Um, and what is Paris doing? Paris is, oh my God, is he following in his dad's footsteps? You know what Paris actually uh, PJ likes doing, he likes to, um, play sports. He does definitely likes to play sports. This is a massive apartment building that they live in. Um, I don't know if I have to do maybe, where is he? I think I would, right guys? Yeah. Maybe he'll go down a little bit later, but he really, really likes sports. So I'll probably have him maybe shoot some hoops or something like that a little bit later. And yeah. Um, let's see what's going on. So he's got a little bit of a problem. Looks like he's a little tired. So I actually have him go and take a nap for a little while. Um, it looks like he wants to go talk to his mom, ask for some advice. Um, and she's always here for her kids. Like I said, when, when Paris is not here, she is definitely here. All right. So it says someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt is unhealthy. If you do, kids may tease you. I would say eating dirt is unhealthy. All right, cool. All right, so he's cool now. Mama made it better. Why don't you go ahead and hug her? So he's going to hug her. Oh, she took a nap. All right, so we'll let mom take a nap. Um, is sister still fussing or is she in a better mood? Well, she is actually in an awesome mood right now. I love her life. I definitely love her life. So she's in an awesome mood. Um, and Paris is kind of like, I have nothing to do but practice on the electric piano, which is kind of cool because that lets me know, you know, will he be into sports or will he want to follow in the family footsteps? Like I told you guys, most of the family is interested in music except for Duchess and maybe, yeah, I think Duchess is basically the only one. All right, so why don't you go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Tell him, move out the way. Move out the way. This is an annoying nanny, by the way. Move. He, he needs to use that. All right, can we ask him, like, can you move? Do a little mischief on him and uh, dare to jump. Yeah. <laughs> See if he'll do it. Does that mean he'll jump in the building? That would be kind of crazy. All right. <laughs> He's like, little boy. All right, so now you can get on. Now that we've gotten him up, go ahead and get on the, the piano. 
And let's see what this little guy has made for himself. You know who also was really good as a child? Um, I should really get going now. We never even knew you came. All right, so um, he is on the keyboard learning how to play the piano. And um, I was just saying that MJ was really good with the piano and the violin. He was just good with all kind of, um, all kind of musical instruments. So we already know where his life is headed. Um, although he's a teen dad, that doesn't mean life's over. All right, what is this Jules guy doing? Jules looks like he's actually about to go take himself a nap. So we'll go ahead and let him do that. And um, the girl of the day, this is who I wanted. Um, let's go and have her invite over. Let's see. We're going to have her invite over Duchess. And um, her and Duchess will hang out. And I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll have Duchess and her go and visit Cameron. So Duchess wouldn't normally do this, but what I'm thinking is she's calling up and, uh, you know, she remembers that Duchess had mentioned that, you know, um, Cameron, who is the stepson of uh, royalty, that he was just like this really cute guy. Um, and uh, let's go over to act like we want to hang out with Auntie Royalty and um, play with a baby symphony. But we're really there to um, actually, you know, hang out and meet Cameron. So that's the plan so as soon as um as soon as duchess gets there they'll hang out for a few minutes and then they'll head over to um auntie royalty's house and they'll go ahead and hang out um i would also suspect that they might not even call her auntie royalty i think we're gonna call her auntie roro i think that would be a really cute name to call their auntie so they'll go ahead and do that i'm telling you zola is like beat tired she is so tired now has duchess came yet is duchess here or do we have to let them in? It always becomes very confusing. All right, so let's see where Duchess is. Let's see if she's also already came. Okay, so they have arrived at Auntie Roro's house. Um, she also lives in San Myshuno, if you guys don't know, if you're new to um, my series. And uh, they're coming to visit her because your girl here, Duchess, is having a bit of a crush on Cameron, who she met at her aunt's wedding right so she invites um duchess invites your girl here princess to come along but i don't know if it's gonna go exactly the way that duchess wants because i think princess being the cutie pie that she is she's also very bold and she's a little bit more out there than um your girl duchess is so i'm thinking she might just steal cameron i don't know anyway guys let's go ahead and head upstairs and um let's see what happens so <laughs> they're actually pretty good friends they do have you know they don't always see eye to eye but they do generally like each other um they've known each other of course since since babies so you know why wouldn't they like each other but they do have their differences so that i think that's just kind of normal for cousins so yeah, so let's go and have them head upstairs and let's see. How do we get them upstairs? All right, so Duchess is actually bold enough to already go. All right, is she going to go? Can you be buzzed in? Go upstairs. All right, so she's going to go upstairs as well. I'm kind of excited to see how this plays out. So let's go and follow this girl upstairs. All right, so oh my God, he's, he's here and he doesn't have a shirt on. So... This is going to be very interesting. It's like they already have like their little, like they've already kind of mapped out exactly what they're going to do. So yeah, so let's go and have them, um, hmm, because it looks like, because I'm controlling Princess, it looks like he's in the restroom right now. So, um, let's just come on in. Let's just have them come in. Let's just have them go here, go here, and, um, or rather I should tell them to chat here. So why doesn't she call her over? Okay, so she came in. Cool, cool. All right, so why don't we, I don't know, I know it's in the restroom, but we want to introduce ourselves. So do a funny introduction, like, you know, I'm sorry I accidentally walked in on you in the restroom, like she didn't mean to do it. And yeah, oh my God, there's Symphony, you guys. Yeah, so she's like, oh, okay, so he's pretty cool with it. I think he's like, he has a romantic trait too. So I think it'll work out pretty good. Um, let's also do, um, funny introduction. Go ahead and do that. 
And then as soon as we introduce ourselves to him, then I'm gonna actually start a club. Uh, oh my God, he's kind of mean. He is kind of mean. All right, is this gonna work out? All right, so chat with him. All right, do we consider, do we know him? All right, cool. All right, so do a friendly and um, ask him about his day. Oh my God, he's really in a bad mood. All right, so ask him about his day and then we'll try to, um, I don't know, then we're gonna need to try to get everybody involved in this. So let's go ahead and um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and actually start the group. All right, so she's actually a part of a couple of groups, right? Uh, why is she a part of two groups? All right, join, create a club. And um, let's see here. We're gonna create a club. And we're gonna name this club, I don't know, um, uh, Excel, I don't know, something, something nerdy like. The whole purpose of them is to you know, Excel. So Excel, um, um, or let's call them the scholars. We'll call them the scholars or something. I don't know. And, um, the scholars. And then, um, let's go ahead and, uh, get everyone we want into the club. All right. I don't see. All right. So Cameron's here. Duchess is there. Um, is he a kid? I can't tell. All right, so just them for now, maybe? All right, so let's do that. And then we'll say that it's only for teens, invite only. And the requirements is that you do have to be a teen. All right, um, what else? And, um, what else do we want? Skill level two? No, none of that is important. Let's exit out of there. And club activities will be, um, home activities. Um, kid activities. Do homework. And, um, what else do we want them to do? Food and drink. Perform puppet shows. Play in closet. Outdoors. Nope. Drink plasma? Nope. No, nothing there. Um, trying to see. Oh, definitely they can play basketball. That would be fun. And, um, because they do, he actually has a basketball court at the house here. Um, social, be friendly, uh, tell jokes. They're definitely going to do that. We'll be able to tell jokes um, to clubs. Well, tell jokes to age teens, so they'll tell jokes to that, tell jokes. I think that's it. The only thing I don't want them doing, this would be band activities. Um, outdoor. You know what? I'm going to go back because I do want them to be able to like, well, I wouldn't want the cousins kissing, so it's going to be kind of hot. All right, so is there anyone else that can join the group? We can invite Theodore Huxtable, Meredith Irizarry, she could be a part of the Wolfgang. Um, actually, Wolfgang would be, oh, let's invite Tyler Martin. He's really cute. And um, we can also invite, there's a lot of, okay, so now it's given us a whole idea of all the kids that we can invite. Um, oh, oh, yeah, Benjamin. Benjamin, and um, let's invite a girl now. Um, MJ would not be considered like their age group, so, and I'm going to invite a couple of girls. Uh, let's invite Madison and Denise, Denise, no, but Mia, Morgan, and Mia Hitler. Alright, alright, so I think we're good, right? Oh, it's too many guys, let's see. This is another camera. Alright, so we'll have to let go of him and we'll invite, um... Mia Hintley. Yeah. Or you know what? Let's invite um, L Banks. We'll invite her. Alright, so L Banks will be a part of the group. And um, we'll see how this all goes. Let me confirm here. Alright, so let's give them a look. And 
um, do you have like a notebook or anything we can use? Yeah. So we'll, use, so we'll be called the scholars. Um, cause you know, they're hopeful and they're all ready to go to school and, um, yeah, so we'll call them the scholars. Alright. Alright guys, so we've started a group. Um, we might have some triangles here. Sorry, this is the gathering right now here. And yeah, hopefully this guy will be in better shorts because he's kinda mean. I don't know. <laughs> he's in a he's definitely having some mood changes there. Alright, so why don't you go over here and uh, give Auntie a hug? So she should give her auntie a hug. Um, go ahead and do a funny and then we'll uh, tell a funny story. So it looks like a few of her other friends have come. And I'm thinking too, guys, I really like um, Elle's, um, Elle's uniform. So I probably might have them uh, dress in uniform when they meet. So I'll let you guys know. So why is everyone meeting in the restroom? This is so funny. So funny. All right, all right. So she, so she tried to talk to him. So he's still kind of mean a little bit. So we'll just give him some time. It's like they're talking about cupcakes now. So that's good. And so yeah. So in this LP and also in the Michael Jackson Legacy Challenge, I'll be doing. I'll be having them all kind of get together and hang out from time to time, and um, they'll all kind of like try and you know create some you know create groups and do little fun things. I think it'll be fun. All right, so. Uh, looks like she's starting her homework. Do homework together. So she'll go ahead and start her homework with, with her, with her cousin Duchess. And yeah. All right. So that'll be cool. Hopefully we can get them all to do the homework. Yeah. All right. So Cameron looks like she cheered Cameron up. And this is just the beginning, you guys. It's gonna take some time. I'm gonna do some more episodes and um actually i'm gonna start building uh, their relationship between duchess and all of the all of the kids in the group so therefore they can all kind of start creating some kind of um relationships all right basically. guys so it looks like they're all here and they're all meeting up right now and this is so cool they're doing their homework together and just kind of fellowshipping you know what i'm talking about and yeah so this is kind of cool i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving this team group i hope you guys are as well i'm gonna go ahead and pause the game for now i hope you guys enjoy my gameplay as i enjoyed hanging out with you guys in another episode of my generations lp and i'll see you guys all in the next part have a good day guys and bye for now Hey, 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 hey.